low and high pressure sodium socks lamps and metal halide lamps. Here is the components of a low and high pressure sodium socks lamp. They produce a yellow colored light resulting in the lighted areas being almost indistinguishable in color difference. So if your car is parked in a parking lot with these type of lights, whether your car is red, blue, green, yellow, it's almost going to be hard to distinguish what color the car is. Uh, so that's why they're mainly used in parking lots, city parks, city right-of-way, etc. Average lifespan is about 24,000 hours. Uh, the main difference between low and high pressure sodium lamps is the internal pressure at which they operate at. Uh, once the arc is ignited, it melts the sodium inside the lamp, transforming the sodium into a plasma. Uh, these lights become less efficient over time because they must use more power to produce the same lumen output. They also have a long warm-up period, uh, you know, up to 10 minutes or so, give or take. Once they start to go bad, they will switch on and off intermittently, eventually going out completely. Uh, there is a ballast you can replace up inside the light fixture. Metal halide lamps are another form of HID or high intensity discharge lamps, uh, similar to sodium uh, SOX lamps. However, these produce a bright white light by passing an electric current through a combination of mercury and metal halide gas. So these offer higher color temperature up to 5,500 Kelvin. Average bulb life is 6,000 to 15,000 hours. Uh, these bulbs also take a long time to warm up all the way, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Metal halide lamps produce omnidirectional light, which means basically 360 degrees. Uh, that's why reflectors and things are needed inside the light fixture to direct the light where you want it. Uh, they can also start to make a loud buzzing sound as they age, um, and they also get very hot. Uh, these days, uh, high output LEDs uh, are basically replacing metal halide and low pressure sodium, high pressure sodium lamps as far as um, better color output, operating at cooler temperatures, using less electricity, etc. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, please ring the bell, and leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover.